What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Almighty Max. Today, I react to six people who have been cheating on versus one secret cheater. If you're new, drop a like, subscribe. We're up to 10K. Let's have a the video, man. He was saying some really mean and just not true things about me on social media, so I printed out screenshots of it and I brought his hoodies to his house and I taped all of those screenshots to the package so that his mom wow. could read them. Wow. <laughs> We brought together seven people who've been cheated on. My name is Tijan and I've been cheated on. My name is Angel and I've been cheated on. Hi, my name is Morgan and I have been cheated on. Hi, I'm Marianne and I've been cheated on. Hi, my name is Vivian and I've been cheated on. Hi, my name is Avi and I've been cheated on. Hi, my name is Aaron and I have been cheated on. One of them. This is a sick ass video, my nigga, because there's one nigga that didn't get cheated on who's the one actually cheated. So, like, you can making these people bring up their past traumas, and there's one nigga lying about this shit. He's actually saying what he did to the other to the other person, or she did what to the other person, which, like, which is crazy, man. Like, what the fuck? Them is a cheater. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. How's Good everyone going doing? On? Okay. Good. Great. Yeah. So, Great. who's cheated? I took psychology class, and what they said is when you talk to people, look into their eyes and ask them a question. So, I, I, I can ask the question to everybody, or some, somebody wants to ask. The mom would say that. You can though. see <laughs> their pupils like, like they dilate crazy. a little and stuff like that. So it's... He took on a leadership role immediately. Maybe he was asking those questions so that he could give his prepared response to kind of try to convince us. I was gonna go straight for the kill question. Like, mm. do you guys think cheating is like a re like? Could you be redeemed after that? Oh man, mm. I, I, I personally don't think so. I... That's a good question. Now, me personally, do I think you can redeem yourself after cheating? I say yeah. I think you can. Obviously, cheating is bad. I don't rec I don't recommend anybody do it. Feel me, guy or female. I mean, male or female. My bad. I don't recommend anybody do it. But I think you can redeem yourself. Feel me. Uh, you just gotta like, hey, bro. By the end of the day, bro, we all human, bro. We all make mistakes, bro. Feel me. And this is a pretty big mistake because you know it's a long mistake. You gotta talk to somebody. You gotta go to their house. You got know I me. Mean? It's a it's a big mistake, but again, it happens. Feel me. And I've seen couples actually. Cheat like publicly cheat on each other and they still together and they look happy at least so you never know i think you could redeem yourself i think it's very nuanced i think that most of the time no but also like for me i was cheated on twice but one of the times i was 15 and it's like do i think that that person is going to be a cheater their entire yeah, exactly. life i don't yeah. think so we were yeah. kids Sorry, i was yeah. gonna say there is also kind of a gradient like yeah. i mean for me i'm not a very jealous person if you're drunk at a bar and you kiss a stranger and you feel bad about it like i can swallow that mm. but if you're fully like went home with someone one, like mm. at each level did not stop a hookup from happening which is what happened to me she said something about that is true though there's levels to that shit bro like feel me now me personally bro i'm not taking no bitch back you kiss another nigga you talk to another nigga you hold a nigga hand pack her up my nigga i'm sorry so in my eyes you can't if you're if you're if you're my girl i can't redeem you i'm sorry bro i gotta pack you up you do anything with another nigga bro you breathe the next time you say thank you to another nigga you're packed up but on the other hand my girl she gotta forgive me i'm like i'm sorry bro i ain't mean to slip my dick in bro it was by mistake, so hey, forgive me, take me back, feel me? But that's just me though. About like if you if you just kiss somebody at like a bar or something like that, uh, you know, it's not that bad or something like so. That right there was still considered like a form of cheating to me, so I thought she was the mole herself. For me, it depends on the person and how much they're willing to make it work and change. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I do believe in change, but if they're like making excuses of just like, oh, I'm sorry, babe, but it'll never happen again. Yeah. And then, then yeah. they, they like change for like that period of time and then it happens again. You know, it's kind of like, what is your commitment to your change? Or if they try to downplay how bad yeah. it was. I also think it depends on like who cares. Cause I know some people care a lot about cheating and others that don't. Some people will find that more redeemable. I feel like mm. most people would care about cheating though. Right? Yeah. yeah. What I think of Mole is, to be honest, bro, I don't think it's none of the guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really believe it's a female. Like, I know there's a stereotype that, that guys are the cheaters, but but we all know girls cheat more than guys, bro. Like, it's been, there's scientific proof behind it. Look up the anecdotals. Girls cheat more. Feel me? They're just more sneaky, so it's like, you're not finna know. But, they, so, but I don't know which one of the girls it is, though. Uh, we gotta keep watching. I don't think it's none of the guys, though. I just felt like he was very confident, but in a way that kind of felt scripted. 
Tijan, Tijan, Tijan said that stuff about not everyone cares about cheating, and I was like, that's that's a little off to me. We actually have a tie. The tie is between Avi and Tijan. Tijan, do you want to go ahead and, and go first? I really didn't get that much time to talk, so I was just kind of like letting you guys talk it all out. I got cheated on when I was in college, and I actually found it very interesting what you said. Yeah, you. Okay. Because you were saying that like you could forgive somebody who was um, like just hooking up if they were just like a random stranger kissing, and that's actually what my ex did to me. Oh, so I'm sorry about I that. just thought it was uh, interesting. Well, I, I actually grew up in like a traditional Indian family household, so the way I was brought up was to always treat women with respect. For me, actually, I have a very interesting story how I found out that my uh, girlfriend was cheating on me. I saw a, a Facebook profile picture with her with another dude. She's like, oh, we've been best friends for two years. Come to find out we've been dating for two years. So. Why? Oh, shit. So he was a side nigga. Tough, my nigga. Yeah, how would that react if you found out you was a side nigga? You treating her like you're the main friend of your time, and you like, turns out, nigga, you just saw it. Nah, that's crazy. If I'm treating you like the main, the main nigga gotta be treating you better than me, my nigga. If I ain't get upgraded. My story. Yeah. Uh, bro, it's impossible, bro. Black men don't cheat, so it can't be him. I'm sorry. They got the wrong guy. Yeah, I knew that coming in, I was gonna be eliminated first. I'm just seen as somebody who's a player. It just all just kind of like made sense to me. My who? Did you do anything crazy? Who the fuck thinks this guy's a player? Who told you that, nigga? Evander, you gave me the opposite vibes, nigga. You just say your girl kissed another nigga. That's not player vibes, nigga. Eliminated first. I'm just seen as somebody who's a player. It just Stop the cop. This all just kind of like made sense to me. Did you do anything crazy when they cheated on you? I was about to. <laughs> I was about to. When I got cheated on, I actually kept it to myself for a week because oh I know it was hard. I don't know why I tortured myself, but it was because I was so pissed that I wanted to plant revenge. Yeah. And it just ended up slipping in one of our arguments. <clears throat> I we actually, found did, out. I, I personally actually dealt with not really revenge, but I so I hit up that guy because I found him on social media, you know, and mm -hmm. found out that he's That's been dating him for a long time. I was, trying to, I was trying to find the girl. So I told him to set up a date with her at Cheesecake Factory. And I was like, I'm just gonna show up. What an arena. Dude, that was my idea. So I That's literally what I wanted to do my dream. So they're, 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 they're having kidding. their date. I, I'm like, this fully planned. I walk in there, and then I, literally she just goes immediately to like just bawling out, crying and stuff like that. She's like, I'm uh, so sorry. I'm That's one thing people love, not even just girls, people love doing. When you get catch them in the act, they love playing victim, man. And girls can get away with it faster because, bro, as a man, you don't wanna see a girl crying, bro. So like, you automatically feel bad. It's like, oh my gosh, she's crying, but it's like, you're devious, my nigga. Like, you're doing demon activities right now. I'm this, but. If that really did happen, I'm so sorry, but like, that was just like crazy to me. It was like this perfect cinematic masterpiece of like, I wish I could do that. Not entirely wish it, but you know what I mean. For me, uh, I was actually trying to do a long distance relationship. A week into him being away, he cheated on me. Damn. Um, and he was. Nah, that nigga was planning that shit beforehand, bro. Like, you come with a week, my nigga. Like, I gave you to sell like six months or some shit, no coochie and shit. But then nigga said a week, bro. She, that nigga, he was benching on you. Just didn't know that. Saying some really mean and just not true things about me on social media. So I printed out like screenshots of it, and I brought his hoodies to his house, dropped them off in his parents' house, and I taped all of those screenshots to the package so that his mom could read them. Wow. Good for wow. him. Good for her. Um, I think I was just so caught up in the anger. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Exactly, I know. And the he frustration. It's just like, I couldn't really see clearly. In those yeah. moments, I wanted him to feel what I felt. It's absolutely. hard, it's something hard to deal with. Hard. Mm -hmm. It's really tough. So I just wanted to know what your guys' definition of cheating is. That was like on the Yeah, line. that's true, that's a good yeah. one. How would you guys oh. define cheating? I think Again, my definition is, you sit next to a nigga, you breathe next to a nigga, you cheat on me, man, I'm sorry. Hey, you better work in an all-female spot, my nigga, because nah, ain't no niggas finna get around you. Bro. I don't know, it's a definition that is really up to like the individual. I think it can change a lot, and a lot of people probably agree with that. Like, it's really up to someone's boundaries. But obviously, you know, like the typical things, like hooking up with someone else, really flirting with someone else, continuing like situation type relationship with somebody would be cheating in my eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's emotional cheating, physical cheating. That's what I was gonna yeah. piggyback off on that. Can I clarify what I said in the mm -hmm. last round just because I would hate to discount anyone who that was their experience of like, my offhand comment of like kissing a stranger in a bar 
are. I don't know, I, I'm sorry if that is what happened to you. That's just like something that I'm not a very jealous person. There are some acts that are cheating, but that I know that given the right person, the right relationship, I would personally be able to forgive. It's not black and white for me. Um, it's also the intention, I think, because if someone mm -hmm. do it with malicious intention, like if they really want to harm you, or yes. they really want to end the relationship, but they are still in the relationship, mm -hmm. but yeah. I think that's the that's something you need to have an interest. Wait, so you can cheat with good intention, my nigga? Bro, imagine, imagine somebody pulling that card on you, like, yo, bro, I know I cheated, but I had good thoughts, like, I was doing it for, for the good of you. Like, I'm, I'm turning Chris Breezy so fast, my nigga, if a bitch put that line out on me, my nigga, like, yo, what the fuck you mean you, good, you cheated with good intentions, bitch? Introspection and see, like, well, this is bad. I feel like especially within, and I don't want to, like, be the hater to my generation all, but I just feel like in our day and age for, like, relationships, we don't discuss boundaries firm enough of yeah. what everybody thinks their definition of cheating is. But no, like, I feel like especially when you get cheated on, especially at a younger age, we let our emotions control us a little bit more. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like doing something crazier is just... A little bit more rational in people's heads at that age. Aaron. He played out that ideal story of like getting back at your ex. It could also just be like the. As an ideal story, but you said you planning the same thing. So by your logic, you should be packed up too. Typical things that you see at the movies. And again, we have another tie. It's between Avi. And Aaron. Yeah, uh, I was actually pretty surprised that I was uh, in another tie again. I was being a bit too casual about it, so I was not surprised that I was chosen. I was living in the same town as my ex and I had to move, and so we knew that we had a deadline. And then when I moved, we decided to have a three-week buffer period where we would do a long distance, and then we had a deadline for our breakup. Two days before that deadline, they went to a Pride event and hooked up with somebody else. If you're gonna cheat, let the other person go first. Don't let them sit through that, because that Sucks. Yeah, I mean, just kind of picking back off what I was saying, just the way I was. What type of shit is that? You gave yourself a date of when you're gonna break up, my nigga? What? Bro, these niggas, these niggas be on some new shit. I never heard of some shit like that before. Like, yo, we're gonna break up on this day, so let's spend the time to, for what? Brought up, I don't see cheating as a, as a good thing at all. You have to put yourself in the other person's shoes. If you do cheat, think about like how much damage that can cause to yeah, them. Because right. like, I know when I got cheated on, I didn't even get into a relationship for at least like six months to a year. You guys are actually going to group up and decide on one person that you want to eliminate. Okay. Back up, Avi. The, he, he's, he's not the cheater, bro. He's not. Okay. You guys might have voted the wrong person. Sorry, Avi. Sorry. I said, said a, a story about actually how things unraveled. It did honestly look pretty cinematic, so I think that's why people thought that I was the, I was the mole. And any non-cheaters can slide in my DMs. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. I couldn't focus on all of the people that were <laughs> playing, uh, but I felt that the people that were out were not the most. All right, that means that the game ends here. If the so let's find out who it was. I, I still think it's one of the girls, bro, I'm sorry. They, they packed up just straight niggas, bro. They packed up what, the two guys? Yeah, it's definitely one of the girls. The lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. However, the, if the lights is, turn red. Bro, which one of them could it be though? That means the mole is still in the box and you lose. I knew it. I knew, I knew it. it. <laughs> Who is it? Will the mole please reveal themselves in three, two, one? <laughs> what? <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I feel so dumb. I fucking knew it, Monica. What did I tell you, bro? When has, when has Almighty Max ever steered you guys wrong, bro? I know it all. I, hey, come on now. Uh, don't, don't. Um, so I've been on both sides. I've been cheated on. Why are you crying? Bro, you just made up all them lies talking about you was playing in revenge. Cause you, uh, nigga, you the cheater, motherfucker. You just took your ex-boyfriend's experience and used it as your own, bro. Why are you crying right now? And I said the cheater. 
when I first applied to, to do this, I had like only one intention in mind is to um, get the money, give purpose to my pain. I was cheated on in college. <laughs> he was the first person who ever made me feel like I was enough. <laughs> so then when he cheated on me, I felt like he took that away from me. So wait, did you, did you cheat on him back or did you cheat on me? That's important. If she cheated on the same guy that cheated on her, cool, she just got revenge. But I mean, realistically, you shouldn't even be with the nigga. I kind of just broke up with him. But whatever, you got revenge, that's cool. So if it's, if it's the same nigga, I'll let it slide. I'll let your pain and all this crying is justified. But if you got with a new nigga you cheated on him just because your other nigga cheated on you, get ready to get torched because I'm torching your ass. I'm torching you like Charizard, my nigga. <laughs> and I've been struggling with it ever since. For me, the greatest pain wasn't being cheated on, but being the person who inflicted the pain that I already knew so well. You knew better, why didn't you do better? You know, so that was just like, it just hit. It felt like she was all of our exes telling us what we needed to hear. And I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better mole than Marianne because she really gave us that moment. To Bro, she didn't explain if she cheated on a new nigga or on a, on the same nigga cheated on her. Heal. And she was a great like surrogate for uh, everyone who had been hurt to um, get that kind of closure, I suppose. So Marianne, the floor is yours. Um, even though I won, I, I don't want to take it. I actually want to give this prize money to the people who've been cheated on. So if I can invite everyone that was with me, right, to come up stage, we're going to win this celebratory money and I'm going to give this to you guys. How much is that money? I, I've always wondered how much they give them niggas to win. Like, it has to be at least a band each, right? I would hope so. So this money is going to you guys. I'm not going to keep any of it. <laughs> you guys just buy me a drink if you want. <laughs> Everyone's dancing on. Bro, she still didn't explain if she was the one who cheated. I think, bro, my theory is, bro, because since she didn't go into detail, and again, I'm never wrong. So this is just facts then at this point, but I'm saying it. She cheated on a new nigga, bro. And since you did that, bro, you have no reason to cry, my nigga. Like, you knew exactly what you was doing. You know exactly how you felt. And you went and did it to another guy, bro. And hurt that poor guy. Like, come on, man. Feel me? If you enjoyed the video, man, drop a like, subscribe. Roll to 10K, feel me? Uh, tell me how you feel about cheating. So, my bad. Tell me how you feel about cheating. Do you think it's redeemable? Uh, what is cheating to you? Feel me? Uh, leave it down in the comments below. Again, I have a Discord. I'm not really on it like that. Keep it I've been busy at work. But I'm going to try to get on the Discord. I'm going to try to live stream soon, too. So, live streaming coming soon. I'm not going to give y'all a date because I can't promise anything, but I will start, I will try to live stream. So, uh, it's your boy, Money Max, man. Roll to 10K. I love y'all. Peace out.